Howdy, y'all. Howdy. It's, it's Mo and Deb cooking with Mo and Deb, and mm -hmm. we are here to make. Someone actually requested this. Yes, they recipe. did. Um, we are going to oblige them and oblige our tummies in a little while <laughs> with some test squares. <laughs> yes, um, it's a. I've made this before. I've made this recipe. I think there's probably tons of recipes for a chess square yeah. or chess mm -hmm. pie or chess mm -hmm. cake mm -hmm. out there. Um, and you know what else, Stevie? What? If you go to the Paula Dean restaurant, she makes an ooey gooey butter cake. Uh, Tastes the same as a chess square. Does it? Okay. Yes. Tastes just like a chess square. So, so it tastes a lot like it. So if you make this, you know, you can call it a chess square <laughs> or you can call it an ooey gooey. I like the butter ooey gooey. Whatever. Ooey gooey. Ooey gooey butter cake, butter I think cake. is what I they like call it. it. But it's uh, it tastes the same to me. Because the first time I had it, I was like, whoa, this tastes like a chess square. <laughs> so what are we going to do, Deb? Let's see. Um, so we make the crust first, right? Mm -hmm. Right, we're gonna make the crust. And in the crust is one box of yellow cake mix. And this is a butter golden cake mix. And we're gonna put that in here. One box. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put one egg, one egg. And we've got three sitting out here, but the crust only gets one, okay? And then, Debbie, that's so, at you. Her stove does not <laughs> like me. It doesn't like anything on it that is not cooking. Um, and then, um, let's One stick put, of butter? Yes. Melted butter? Melted butter? Yes. One stick of think. melted butter. Yeah. So we're going to add the melted butter, and then we're going to mix that up really good, and that's going to be our crust. So, here goes. Here goes nothing. But um, y'all, I have had these. The first time I ever ate a chess square was at homecoming at my church when I was a little girl. Well, young girl, I guess, not a little girl, but probably a teenager. And I remember thinking how good they were. And so um, we figured out how to make them. I don't remember if my sister figured it out or my mother figured it out, but I have since lost that recipe, but I do remember you put a cake mix in it. And I knew you put some cream cheese in it, so <laughs> I'd say it's. I'd say all these recipes are pretty much the very same. close. Yeah, but we're gonna put the recipe in the comments for you anyway. But this is a great, um, a great something to take to a covered dish or take to the office for a staff meeting or whatever. Um, okay, so we've got a nine by thirteen pan, and I'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of cooking spray. Plant Debo. Now we've got the oven preheated to 300. 300. So I'm so, just going to use my hands to spread it out, right? Right. Just going to make yourself a little crust there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Well, I have to make this perfect. It's got to go all the way to the edge. <laughs> all the way to the edge. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's plenty of crust, so oh, I mean, yeah, it should go to the edge. Mm -hmm. This is a 9 by 13 pan? Yeah. Number okay. 13, bacon dish. There it is. The, that's what it calls, it looks, it, it reminds me of a butter crust. Uh -huh. So it would yeah. be a great, it would be butter. Butter cake. cake. Yeah. Okay, okay crust so is there's done. the crust. All right, now Deb, you're gonna use your cream cheese and you're gonna mix your powdered sugar with your cream cheese and then your other two eggs. I'm gonna mix a little and then add some of that. That's what I would do. <laughs> You know how powdered sugar goes everywhere. Yes, it does. <laughs> Need some liquid in there. For sure. But these are so good, y'all. I mean, and yeah, they're super fattening. I'll just go ahead and tell you. So don't, just, eat a, don't eat the whole eight by, a 9 by 13 pan. Yeah, <laughs> I was just bemoaning today of the fact that none of my clothes from last spring fit me. I went to find a short sleeve shirt because I was hot <laughs> in, in March. And it's pretty warm today. It was like in the oh, 70s. Oh, it was so nice out today. Yeah, it was so nice. But anyway, it was a little bit hot. So I went to find a short sleeve shirt from last season. And they were all like snug. So, I'm so gonna expect have to, some locale recipes to come. <laughs> yes, because, you know, I cannot be eating dress players by my lunch anyway. So, um, if you make these, make them on a day with you. Take them to work. Yeah, so you don't eat the whole thing. You don't eat the whole thing. Pan. You're going to really like them. They are so good. So, powdered sugar. How much powdered sugar is this? There's four cups. 
One eight ounce softened cream cheese, make sure you soften it. Yeah. And two eggs. And that's it, right? That's it. Wow, that's all Dirty the other egg in there? Yes, I put And sugar. you know, you cannot go wrong with butter, sugar, <laughs> and eggs. <laughs> it's the three well, best ingredients in the world. True, but the other thing is cream cheese. You can't go wrong oh, with that's a true. recipe that has cream cheese. And you in know, it. I was showing Dia, I've got a uh, recipe book that's got. It was like, how many, 25 recipes using cream cheese or something like that, but it is, um, we're going to have to make some of those. They won't be on our diet. But. They will not be on our diet. <laughs> and that fat-free cream cheese, uh -uh, ain't doing it. I am not doing that. I'll do it, but I don't know how, how mm -hmm. it really, uh, if it's really. I don't believe it. I don't believe in that. Do you? I think it's probably got just some calories. I'm going to get you a statue. I got mm -hmm. a little one here. Yeah. Is that going to be big enough? Probably not. Okay. I'll get a, you can get me a bigger spatula. Yeah. Ooh, this is looking so good. Oh, good now, too. how long is it going to bake? It will bake for 40 to 50 minutes. Okay. But we're going to check it for sure at 40 because I don't like it when they overbake. No. Because that crust okay. gets really dark, and I like it to be more more buttery and light looking. Mm -mm. Looks good. Screw down the sides mm -hmm. a little. So it does look yummy. We think. Is it ready? I think so. Okay. Do I get to lick the beaters? No. No more licking of beaters. <laughs> oh, yeah. These have that? eggs in them. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Although I've eaten um, cake mix batter my whole life. Me, me <laughs> too. But we've been blessed. We haven't gotten sick. I know it does. It can make you sick. There we go. Okay, Doesn't so we got yummy? the buttery crust and the yummy, buttery, sugary, sugary cream cheesy. Just look at that. I know, that's what I was thinking. But then when you bake them, something magical what happens. happens. You know, and some people make something called magic bars, and they do the same thing. It's like there's a great separation that takes place in the oven where the crust gets all brown and toasty, and the top is all, you know, still yellow and... I can't wait to see it. I, I thought I had made these, but this is not bringing back any memories. So yep. maybe I haven't ever made ch chest bars. Well, you have so now. I can't Debbie. wait to get this you finished have now. and see how they look and taste. They're going to be great. Yummy. Okay, so we're so, going to stick them in the oven, y'all, and we'll be back in a minute and show you what they look like. We have pulled the chest bars out of the oven and they have cooled off. We went ahead and cut them into squares. There they are, isn't that pretty? They look especially yummy. We haven't tried one yet, but we're about to. It's just time for a taste test. Oh my goodness, the perfect crust. The crust looks great, it browns so well. It is ooey gooey. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Ooey gooey, ooey gooey and buttery. Mm -hmm. Very buttery. I really taste the crust. It's so good. I know. It is good. So oh, this is your chest try. bars. We had a request for a chest bar. Mm -hmm. If you have a different chest bar recipe, let us know. I'd love to hear, hear of it. Ooh, I'm thinking, Dan, what? what we put some lemon extract Ooh. in that. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be good? A lemony flavor would or be great. Or you could put any, any extract, really. Almond. And that's, I'm surprised we didn't put vanilla. It didn't come for it, but it did not. I think that would be a good addition, so mm -hmm. good thing to try. So we'll give that recipe a try. Thing. No, we're not. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stop after one. <laughs> okay, so there you go, easy recipe. Give her a try. Give her a try. Bye.